Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Joy, back again with another One Kid Review video. So I am back from being out of town, and uh, I did see the feedback, and you guys seem to love, love the series. Well, at least I do assume, because you have been leaving a lot of suggestions. So I do have a lot of suggestions in mind. You guys did leave them, so you guys will be seeing a lot of these videos coming up soon because of the suggestions I do have. But anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this series so far or any other series in my channel, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. We have just returned subscri subscribers maybe like two weeks ago. The next goal is 200 subscribers, but thank you if you do click that subscribe button. But anyways, let's get into the review. So if you guys are smart enough to see behind me when I was doing the intro, you guys can see who this one to keep review will be on. It will be on Jose Juan Macias, probably one of my favorite players in real life. He is Mexican. He is a striker. He is um 20 years old, 75 rated. He does come from Chivas. So actually, he is a brand new transfer in real life. He did get loaned out to Getafe, but obviously in this one to keep review, we have bought him for $1. We did use the cheat engine just to get him cheaper and anything. But anyways, Jose Juan Macias burst into the scene around 2017 where he did start. Uh, well, he basically he started playing games for uh, Guadalajara or Chivas. But his breakout season was at Leon when he was on loan for 2018, 2019, 38 appearances and 19 goals. And I believe he was um, an 18 year old at that time. So he dominated the Liga MX at 18 years old. So that's why he's been getting so much hype. I do believe Jose Juan Macias will be the next up and coming striker for Mexico. He will take the place of Jimenez. And I do believe maybe, just maybe, he will take uh, Chicharito or Javier Hernandez's record as the Mexican top scorer. But I do see big things in this guy. So that's why, um, shout out to whoever suggested this. Let me go ahead and take a look who this suggested. So shout out to XX Gabe, XX uh, Space X. He did suggest this video. So shout out to him. Thank you for suggesting this. I do enjoy this suggestion uh, so much because he is from a team I do support, which is the Mexican national team. And obviously, he's my uh, backup striker in my Western career mode. He hasn't done too well. But hopefully, in this experiment or this one to kid review, he will do pretty well. So, anyways, uh, if you guys did not know, I guess the rules is not really. I haven't made any set rules, but what we do is um, we do basically just follow the career of Jose Juan Macias for five seasons. So, if we do get transfer offers and we do uh, transfer him to another squad, we will go ahead and use the cheat engine to go to that team and see basically his stats at the end. So, it's basically like a little test run, so you guys can see if you guys should sign him or not. So yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, we do do five seasons. We, we, we don't transfer them in the first season. We, we transfer list them every season. And we do get a realistic offer. We try to keep it realistic. Uh, depending on how he's doing, then we'll go ahead and transfer them. But anyways, we do take account all the appearances he does in the five seasons, all the goals and the assists. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the squad and see how Jose Juan Macias will fit in. So as you can see from the squad, uh, we already do have a problem. So Jose Juan Macias is not automatically the highest rated striker. There is 279 rated. So what we usually do is we do uh, release some of these players. So that's what I'm going to do right now. we got to make sure he's at least uh, tied or one of the highest rated in the striker position so he can play games. I'm sorry if this isn't realistic. I know how tough want to release these players, but Jimmy Mata out of here. And who else was the other striker? Uh, Angel will be out of here as well. And so for the strikers, I oh, didn't let me release him. What? There we go. He released. Um, so we do have 375 rated strikers. So I think we need to release one more. So I want to keep. Okay, Hernandez is only on a loan. So we're going to go ahead and uh, terminate loan to him. And then it's going to be Jose Juan Macias and Unal up top with Poveda at backup and Miguel Angel as well. So. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone else can play striker. That is pretty decently high rated. So I'm sorry that I had to release everyone, but it's the best for the experiment. And I don't know if you guys uh, saw as well. Um, we do have 99 rating because we don't want to get fired. And there are also some other things we use the cheat engine. I don't know if you know, it's the one uh, dollar release clause and as well as the free unlimited uh, releases to make this career mode uh, one to kill review smoothly. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and start right away. There's nothing really much to explain anymore. I do believe Jose Juan Macias will be a success. I'm really hoping. Our best uh, result has been A plus for Dusan Vlakovic, which was amazing. If you guys did not check that video out, make sure to check it out. Or the whole playlist. I'll make sure to put the playlist right up here. We have done four, no, three one to reviews so far on this channel. This is going to be the fourth. But anyways, um, like I said, if you guys have enjoyed this series, let me know down below. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have enjoyed it from the feedback, all the comments that you guys have been putting. So we do have a couple of videos lined up for the one to reviews. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start by saving to January like we usually do. And then we look at uh, Macias' stats, and then we go to the end of the season. So, I'll see you guys in January. So, as you can see, we have reached January of the season. Let's go ahead and look at the team real quick, see how they're doing in the league table. We don't really care too much. So, as you can see, they're 13th place. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, obviously, we did release some of their good strikers. Obviously, in real life, they're doing really good. But, obviously, it's still FIFA 21. The ratings haven't gone up. But, yeah. 
18 games played, only four wins, eight losses, and six draws with 30, 24 goals, 18 points. So it's not looking too well, but obviously the main man Macias, let's see how he's doing. So taking a look at Jose Juan Macias, he has automatically, well, he's tied to be our top goal scorer for the club. 18 appearances, seven goals, and two assists is not too bad for this young man. He has gone up a plus one so far. So um, yeah, uh, nothing much else left to say. Let's go to the end of the season and hopefully he does amazing. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we have reached the end of the season, of the first season. Let's see how our boy Jose Juan Macias did. So taking a look at the squad's position real quick, we did, they did improve by three positions. So 38 games played, 15 wins, 8 draws, 15 losses, 53 goals, which is a lot, actually. 53 points in 10th place is not too bad. You guys will probably want to see who won the league title. It was Madrid. But anyways, back to the main part of the video. Let's look at the boy, Jose Juan Macias. Taking a look at our main man, he just does miss out on top goal scorer for the club. He does miss out by one, and his Unal does take his position. But anyways, Jose Juan Macias. 39 games 12 goals is not too bad for his first season we're not being in the, a good good squad amazing squad to be honest and three assists is also not too bad so um we're gonna go ahead and go to the next season i'm gonna transfer list him i know I, I think it might be realistic to sell him because technically he's on loan but at the same time uh if hetafe would um buy him it would be best for him to stay but we'll go take a look see who does offer for him and we'll decide if we will transfer him or not okay so i did forget to mention on the last season but we're now in season two by the way um he did reach a 70 rating so a plus three growth first first season is not too bad but anyways like i said we're not going to transfer this them see what offers we do get but if anything we'll just stay here it is pretty realistic to stay here but at the same time it's pretty realistic to leave as he is only on loan. but anyways we're going to transfer this them see what offers we do get okay so we do get our first offer from Macias from Roma, which is actually, I wouldn't say it's the most realistic, but I mean, considering he did have an amazing season, Akatafe, and he did finish mid table, it wouldn't be too bad. Maybe my uh, Roma are in the champions, or maybe even Europa League. It wouldn't be a bad step. What am I doing? It wouldn't be a bad step for him. So I'm gonna, go, like I said, we don't, uh, we don't do um, player swap. So I'm gonna go ahead and delegate the transfer offer. I wouldn't mind going to Roma. Um, obviously, uh, I'm not a big fan that. They don't have uh basic they're not basically in the game it's roma uh, fc but let's go ahead and see what they say after that offer okay so as you can see they have accepted so i'm i think i'm considering it because um like i said it isn't realistic for him to stay but at the same time it is i know you guys understand me he's only here on loan in real life but obviously we bought him here because we don't want to loan him in for what that way we can just transfer back and then just sell him again so I think I'm going to accept it. It is a step up. He does deserve a step up. He had a great, great season at Getafe. And most players at Getafe, when they have a good season, you guys know that they don't really stay. Other than Jenna, who is actually a respect to him, who has stayed there for a while, even though he's been linked to big clubs. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and accept this. It just depends on Macias now if he does want to move. But yeah, 46 million for Macias. 21 years old, 78 rated. It's not too bad. But let's go ahead and see what Macias decides. So as you can see, Macias has accepted the offer. So we're going to go ahead and follow him to Roma. Um, not the best transfer as it is Roma FC. That kind of bothers me. But anyway. Um, 46 million for Macias. That's a great start for his uh, five season career that we do do in this video. So let's see how he does at Roma. Okay, so as you can see, we have well, been moved to Rome FC. We're gonna go ahead and accept that Roma FC. I'm, I'm, I don't even care. I'm just gonna call them AS Roma, like how they're actually called. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the squad. Let's see who we have to release. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to release a couple of these uh, players because um, they're gonna be way too high rated for Macias to start. So looking at already, Mayoral is gonna be one of these players. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. So. We're going to have to release all those strikers that are 70 year rated because we do want uh, guaranteed game time for him. Yeah, so it's going to be a huge issue. I'm sorry that we're only going to have one basically good striker in the squad, but we have to do it just to further um, Macias' uh, growth in this one key review. We want to get the best out of him because, okay, terminate loan, that's for one. Uh, who else we want to release? Okay, he's a center forward. I'm going to change him to a winger. That way he's we do keep him in the squad. But as for Zakangi, he's going to be released. And as was Pedro, I'm going to change him into a winger. Uh, obviously, in real life, he's a winger. And he was a can play striker. He can play striker, so I'm going to have to remove that from him. But yeah, other than that, we should be good. Um is going to be a winger. And so is Pedro. And that's pretty much it. Butterworth will be our backup. But anyways, um, I'll see you guys in January. Like I said, he has, uh, for 46 million, has reached uh, Roma FC, which is not too bad. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in Europa League, I know their aim is the Champions League, but anyways, we're going to give him the number 9 because he deserves it. But anyways, let's see how he does in January. Okay, as you can see, we're in the second season. We're in January. Let's go see how the squad's doing. I did see they're in the Europa League, so we're going to check that as well, just if you guys are curious. But as you can see, it's not a good start for these players at Roma. It is 17 games played, 11th place, 6 wins, 4 draws, 7 losses, 21 goals, 22 points. So it's it's not the best from them. But anyways, the Europa League, I'm pretty sure we did pass. Um, Yeah, we as you can see, we're not 32, but we don't care too much about the competitions. We did get 6 uh, games played. Five wins, one draw, 11 goals, 16 points. But anyways, 
obviously the main part of these videos obviously it's the player so we're gonna go ahead and check out Macias so taking a look at Jose Juan Macias again he's tied for first place with Mkhitaryan uh 23 games played seven goals and one assist not too bad for his first time playing in such a big club I think oh uh, Hetaf I mean Roma is a huge step from Hetaf and he's doing pretty well so far obviously the team is not jetting right now but hopefully throughout the rest of the season they do do better but anyways not a bad start from him. He has now 79 rating, but hopefully he continues his form in the second half of the season. Okay, so we have reached the end of season two. Let's go ahead and see how the squad's doing, but that doesn't really matter. The main man, Jose Juan Macias, is what matters, but anyways, let's get into it. So as you can see, the squad failed to improve a slowly, lowly 13th place, which is really disappointing for a club like Roma FC, but 38 games played, 10 wins, 14 draws, 14 losses, 49 goals, and 44 points. As for the Europa League, what did they reach? I doubt it was the final. Yep, they didn't reach the final. They lost in the quarterfinals, which is not too bad, to Dortmund, but anyways, let's look at the stats of Macias. So as you can see, even for a disappointing season for Roma, Jose Juan Macias doesn't rest. He does amazing. 20 goals is his best season yet. 52 appearances and 2 assists. This man, like I said, I did believe in him and I did say he was going to be a success. And so far, it's looking like it. Two seasons in, he already has around like, I think 32 goals is not too bad for like around less than 100 or less than 100 appearances. And obviously, he's only 22. And obviously, he does have more goals previous in real life. But obviously, we don't count those. We only count that he does in this reviews. But anyways, not a really, really good season. He is now 81 rated, a plus 3 in total for him this season. But anyways, um... Let's go ahead into the next season and see how he performs. Well, actually, we're gonna transfer list them. Uh, should we transfer list them? I think we should because we did. I know I don't. I do say I don't want to be transferring these players, but he does deserve to be playing for at least the Europa League squad. And as you can see, Roma didn't make that. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer list them. See what we get. This is gonna be a little bit different video. We might be transferring him every season if these clubs do keep performing like the way they are. But anyways, let's get into the next season and see how he does. Okay, so we have reached season three. Of this one to review on Jose Juan Macias and like I said Roma really disappointed me I thought they'd do better but Macias can't carry this team as you guys saw he did really really well so I think he does deserve a big move if he is offered one so we're gonna go ahead and transfer list him in season three I'd hate to be transferring him every season but if it has to be like that you know he deserves it we're gonna go ahead and transfer list him let's see what offers we do get Okay, so we have received our first offer and it's actually from Juventus, which is pretty crazy we we'll just we would be going from one fake club to another in the same league and I'm just gonna go ahead and delegate it. Like I said, it is a lot of money. I don't think they'll offer 122 million, but that's where it's starting off. But I'm hoping we do get another offer. I do want to get out of the city, yeah. M maybe test my sales in a different league, but we'll see what happens. It's going to see him a couple days, see what happens with that offer. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I think we have to take it. It's an improvement. We don't want to be sitting around for another offer. But look at the offer. He's only 81 rated, 22 years old, 105 million offer from Juventus or Pinamento Calcio. So we're gonna go ahead and accept it it's a big club and this might be the last club we do transfer to depending on how this juventus side does do when we do join them obviously my has no doubt in my mind is gonna do amazing but we're gonna accept our transfer for 105 million already triple digits in the third season but anyways let's see what Macias says maybe he'll reject on season three Macias probably makes history 105 million for this mexican pro oh my god this is the biggest transfer fee for a mexican ever i hope this does happen one day soon Macias does have the potential you guys need to check him out you guys will see what i see he's such an amazing striker has so many good instincts but anyways um let's get back into this video um we are gonna go to juventus to follow him on his career let's see how he does Impedimenti Calcio or Juventus. So as you can see, here is our offer for from Juventus. We're gonna go ahead and accept it. Obviously, let's go see at the squad. If Ronaldo's still there, I'm not gonna release him. I wanna, I want him to play next to Macias. We'll change the formation, but any other striker will probably have to release. So Diabolo, as you can see, is a center forward. I might change him to. Let's change the formation. Let's see. I want to get all this all started squad, start started squad into this team because we want the best for Macias. So. I know I'm not supposed to change too much, but Diabala is going to play here and we're going to have Macias up top. So, as for the strikers, uh, let's just put the best team here real quick. That way we know who we do, who we are messing with. So, Varane's here. The Ligt. Oh my god, this is going to be an amazing, amazing uh, experiment uh, review for Macias. So, Cristiano and uh, Macias are the best strikers. So, there's no need to worry on selling anyone. Just change the position of uh, Mora because he can't be striker. We're going to take that off and for Diabala as well. So as you can see, we have reached January of the third season. Let's see how this Juventus squad is. I just don't understand. Every team that Masia seems to go to, they seem to underperform. Come on, Juventus have an amazing squad, and we're in seventh place. Seventeen points, seven wins. Uh, I mean, seventeen games played, seven wins, eight draws, two losses only, thirty-one goals, twenty-nine points. As for the Champions League, I'm pretty sure we're in the Champions League. There's no way we're not. And yeah, we did get out of the group in second place, uh, which is disappointing. But let's go to the main man, Masias. 
As you can see, Messi has not the greatest start in Juventus life for him. 23 appearances, 5 goals, 1 assist. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo leading the line. He is now 87 already, which is really bad to see. But anyways, um, Messi has it's a decent start. It is a bigger club and it's higher demands. But he is playing next to Ronaldo, so maybe he's helping, out, uh, helping him out a little bit. But anyways, let's go to the end of the season and hopefully he picks up this form. Okay, as you can see, we have reached the end of the season of season 3. As you can see, we lost in the semi-finals of the Champions League. But anyways, let's quickly look at how the team did. Okay, so the Juventus team did have a turnaround, 38 games played, 22 wins, 10 draws, and 6 losses. 70 goals is a lot, and 76 uh, points. I don't know what's going on with me. Champions League, obviously, you guys saw we lost to Tottenham Hotspur, and it will be Tottenham or Bayern Munich. But anyways, let's see how Jose Juan Macias did finish this season. As you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo obviously led the line with 25 goals. I still, I don't know, 38 years old, 86 rating, not too bad. But Macias does shine, 54 appearances, 17 goals, 1 assist. Uh, being a Juventus wasn't a problem for him, so he is, I think, going to remain at this club. Diabala as well, not a good, I mean, 84 rated, wow. Not a bad start, I mean, not a bad season from him, but obviously the main man, Macias. Another 17 goals, another 10 plus goals for him in his, um, in his score. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but anyways, great season from him. Let's go on to the next season, and we're going to actually keep him here. Hopefully, they do a little bit better, but if not, maybe for the last season, we might take him to a superstar squad. So we have reached season three, and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch the ball back to striker because Ronaldo seems to be going down. But anyways, I'm hoping for another big season for Macias on season four. Let's go ahead into January and see how he does perform. Okay, so as you can see, we reached January of the fourth season. Let's go ahead and see how the squad's doing real quick, and then Macias. So huge turnaround for Juventus. We do start in first place of this new season. As for the Champions League, let's see how we're doing so far. I'm pretty sure we passed. Yes, we do. We did get second place again. But anyways, let's look at Jose Juan Macias and see how he's doing. Jose Juan Macias is on a madness, guys. 24 appearances, 16 goals, 3 assists. He's now at an 86 rating. And I'm, I'm expecting him to have a huge end of the season this season. So let's go ahead at the end of the season. Let's see how he does. Okay, so we have reached the end of the season. Let's see the squad and then Macias. So as you can see, this Juventus squad did finish first place winning the league title but they did not win the champions league as you guys saw in the calendar where did we finish in the champions league we lost in the round of 16 which is the very beginning so yeah we did get first place but anyways let's go look at macias and see how he did as you can see this young man can't be stopped he topped cristiano ronaldo obviously ronaldo's already old but 48 appearances 25 goals six assists is not too bad but anyways he's 87 now let's go ahead into the end season i mean to the next season and see how he does on his final season okay so boys i may have messed up i forgot to give a lot of players contracts so my sis in the free agency uh this is gonna be a little bit different video so we're gonna go ahead and just follow him wherever he goes so let's see what fate decides for him so i made a huge mistake but let's skip a couple days let's see where he does end up so as you can see here, Macias has decided to join my United. So we have gone and have had and followed him for his last season. So I'm just going to go ahead and see the next season. Uh, this video has been uh, uh, not too long, but like a lot of these videos have been a little longer than usual. So I'm going to go ahead and try to trim them down a little bit. So it's uh, better for you guys. You guys can um, have more time than your day. So we're going to go ahead to the end season. On his final season, let's see how Macias does. Okay, as you can see, we have reached the end of the season, at the end of the final season for this one to review of Jose Juan Macias. Let's go see how he did. But first, the team. So in his first season in the Prem, he has helped match United to a top 4 finish. I don't know if that's good. I don't know how my United have done in this review. But as for the Champions League, how did they do? I know we reached maybe the quarterfinals. No. We lost in the round of 16 to PSG. But anyways, the main part of the video, my season. In his first season in the Premier League, didn't have the best season. But he still reached the 90 rating. 11 goals, 2 assists, and 51 appearances. So in these 5 seasons, Macias has reached the 90 rating, which is pretty amazing to see. But anyways... I'll make sure to show you guys the final stats for him in these five seasons. After these five seasons, Macias has played for Hetafe, Roma, Juventus, and finally, Manchester United. He has achieved the 90 rating, but let's look at his all-time stats. So he has uh, 244 appearances, 4 goals, 85 goals, and for assists, 14 assists, and his final transfer fees, a total of 151 million for Jose Juan Macias. So, um, I like to consider this one of review a success, so if you guys do think um, thinking about signing Macias, you definitely should. As you can see, yeah, look how good he has gotten. So, I would like to give Jose Juan Macias an A minus. I, I can't go for A plus. Vlahovic did way better. And it would be biased if I did put an A plus. But, anyways, yeah, I do recommend you guys do sign Macias in your career modes this year and even next season. But, anyways, um, let's go ahead and end the video. If you guys did enjoy this one, you review, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell will get notified anytime we do post. But anyways, if you guys do have any suggestions for this one, reviews or any suggestions for my channel in general, make sure to leave them down in the comments. But anyways, make sure to do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, and chamos.